Obasanjo blamed lack of developmental growth to poor leadership, warning that until Nigerians get it right, the challenge will continue. Obasanjo said the country is endowed with both natural and human resources that can be used to promote development in all phases of life. We cannot have it easy if we want to develop. We must be ready to take the bull by the horn. We have to do it at one time or the other. The Kaduna State Governor Nasir Arufai said the state government will continue to open doors to private partners towards moving the state forward, while the guest speaker, Dr. Shamsuddin Usman, in his lecture underscored the need to reinstate and maintain long-time planning by lawmakers. We are planning how to take our state to the highest possible level. In the area of fiscal infrastructure, Mr. President, we are pursuing some public-private partnerships, focusing our own public resources on township roads and rural roads that may not be commercially viable, and we are doing a lot of that. The National Assembly to adopt an economic work plan, political commitment, but at the legislative and executive level. I wish Nigeria would actually do more of this kind of projects. The Chamber's President, Dr. Muhiba Dankaka, in her remarks, asked the government to work towards improving Nigerian business environment in order to reverse the dwindling economic challenges facing the country. Nigeria's government to work hard on improving the Nigerian business environment. The Nigerian economy has been facing a lot of serious challenges, which is a result of dwindling resources. The theme of the seminar is promoting public-private partnership as panacea for accelerated growth and development. Phoebe Kure, Liberty News.